We're on the shore, we're on the bank of the River Thames in Richmond. Uh, we're using the opportunity of the uh, Richmond Lock being opened so the water drains down to a lower level to do an invasive non-native species survey. Uh, this invasive non-native species are species that have been introduced usually by people uh, into a habitat where they then go on to dominate and outcompete the local native species. And so we're looking at a number of different um, mussels and clams to see um, whether they've in increased in abundance and uh, how that's affecting the local biodiversity. That will help us understand the patterns of, of these species and then hopefully that can advise management and the conservation of the area. All right, we're using a quadrat um, and we're counting all the number of invasive species and native species within that quadrat and then that allows us to compare uh, the numbers of the different organisms within that um, over time and between sites. Well, this is one of the main invasive species that we find down here on the banks of the River Thames. This is the Asian clam. Um, it's rapidly increased in abundance due to its ability to reproduce very quickly and spread very widely and that it's able to do that much better than the native species and that's caused it to outcompete them where they're in the same habitat and then can, has the potential to completely alter uh, an environment and habitat that they've been introduced into. All oh, right, you've got some different ones. You don't know what these ones. These could be duck mussels or they could be depressed. You've got to get the key out for these. But these, you know, you've just got the Asian, Asiatic ones. That's a painter's. That's a painter's, you're sure? Yeah. Painter's muscle? Okay. Okay, on our survey today we've managed to find one European eel. It's a young eel called an elva. It would have been uh, on its migration up the River Thames, which is uh, from where it spawned in the Sargasso Sea. And the elvas are resident in the Thames and are one of our species that we're trying to protect as it's a critically endangered species. So um, this survey will also pick up on and help indicate how these species are faring. Eleven? Yep. All right. Uh, basically, we found that this shore here is dominated entirely by non-native species, uh, specifically the Asian clam, which is abundant across this soft sediment shore. Um, this kind of survey and these results help us get a better understanding of uh, the wider picture and how invasive species are affecting our shores across Britain.